My name's Steve Statler. I'm a, a writer and a podcaster. I host the Mr. Beacon podcast where we study IoT. And I'm also the Senior Vice President of Marketing at Williot. Williot was founded with the intent to dramatically increase the size of the Internet of Things from a few tens of billions of devices, which is where it is at the moment, to trillions of devices to connect everyday things to the Internet of Things uh, using tiny postage stamp sized computers that power themselves by recycling radio energy that harvest the Bluetooth energy and other radio waves that surround us so that we can connect any item, a cardboard box, a plastic pallet, a vial of vaccine to the internet and give it intelligence. We're very lucky we have been well funded by a range of great companies, Amazon, Alibaba, Verizon, NTT, Docomo, Maersk, Merck, and some amazing financial investors. And that's allowed us to design a semiconductor from scratch that uh, can uh, operate on tiny amounts of energy. It is super efficient at capturing the energy and radio waves that surrounds us. It's also a sensor. It's a full computer. It runs on an ARM processor, which um, allows it to be very flexible and programmable. And the way it works is it can be applied to everyday things and it will broadcast private encrypted information over Bluetooth, standard Bluetooth that allows it to communicate with phones, Wi-Fi access points, smart speakers, and all sorts of IoT devices. There's a, a cornucopia of IoT radios in everything from fridges to washing machines and very versatile um, IoT devices that can pinpoint the location of one of our tags in three dimensions to great accuracy. Actually, we give all of that away. We don't monetize the uh, chip designs and the tags. We, we license that for free to third parties who make and sell the tags. And what we do is we have a SaaS platform that um, extends down into edge processing and into the cloud and provides the security and the sensing um, that allows uh, these deployments to scale to very large sizes. Now you can do all sorts of things with these tags. Uh, we have literally um, tracked um, COVID vaccine vials, measured their temperature, fill level, the dilution of the serum. But one of the sweet spots for us is putting these tiny computers onto the humble plastic crate that is used to move all sorts of products through the supply chain but most notably um, uh, produce, fruit and vegetables. By having uh, this connectivity added to things that were normally offline and in the dark, we can do all sorts of things like reduce uh, shrinkage, the loss of these crates for a very simple ROI. But in a more compelling way, we can also reduce the waste uh, of food and we can extend shelf life. And we do that by allowing the operators of these pools of pallets and crates to see when they're spending too much time in the wrong place at the wrong temperature. Very often a FIFO, a first in first out queue can devolve to a LIFO and product can sit sometimes for hours or even days in the wrong place. And that can result in that food going bad and having a shorter shelf life. And having fresher produce, uh, it, it's a major profit center for grocery stores. And it's also an anchor product that can uh, drive better loyalty. So it drives all sorts of KPIs. As I say, uh, the technology can be used for many, many other things and can really transform the way products are, are made, distributed, sold, used, reused in the circular economy and then finally uh, recycled. If any of this sounds interesting, then do reach out to us. And actually you can buy a, a starter kit um, for $500. Uh, up until now, it's cost 50 or $100,000 to 
engage with us and we've been limited to just working with a few of the largest companies in the world. Uh, but now um, we're well, available to anyone with a good idea, uh, with an app, uh, to a partner. Um, what we're doing, we can't do on our own. So we do invite you to reach out and try the technology. Um, so thanks for listening. Uh, I hope this has uh, been of interest.